fast Darcy Kemper, who shut him out last night, stopped the first four shots in this one, but that one, Lou, probably one he should have had, a long one-timer right off of a face-off by Chad Billens. He was no more than a couple of feet inside that blue line. The part up and a very big part up for a number of years. Now look out, Houston scores. A shot by Genoway, deflected. It looked like off a skate and into the net. And Whitman's Anderson trying to clear it out. Coyle had him tied up. Now a scrum along the near side. Paul Mara has the puck to Genoway. Cuts right into Coyle. He'll score. And just like that, it's a 2-1 Houston lead. Incredible turn of events here at the Van Andel. As Paul Mara now will dump it in as Ferraro emerging from the box. So the Griffins kill it off. Look out, though. Coyle in front. He scores. Charlie Coyle has his second goal of the game. And the Arrows have got a 3-1. He's head the other way. Fontaine will dump it in. Peter Morancic got him his net, scooped it into the corner. They take it away oh. and score. David McIntyre makes it 4-1. to one. This is Minnesota. And then Farrell out, cuts it and fires a shot, save and a rebound. Oh. Another stop there by Kemper. Great play by Tatar to hold it in. They put it back in front. Backhand and score! Riley Sheehan, power play goal. And with still 10.42 to go, the Griffins are within two and four to two. They were, were really crowding the front of the net, you know. Uh, it, was, it was tough getting shots through. They had five guys in front blocking shots. But uh, I think it's it's going to be the norm the rest of the way. We're sitting at the top of the league, and, and teams want to, you know, uh, come after us. We're sitting at first. It's not going to be easy. So a bit of a wake-up call there for us. We're going into break, uh, you know, make the most of it, put it behind us, and, and regroup, come back after the break. It's gone, you know, I think it's gone fairly well, but but we're not uh, too far ahead of our goal of uh, to be a playoff team. We, we keep that stat and uh, based on uh, segment points and we're just a couple ahead so we're, we're gonna have to come back and play real good every single night to have a chance to be good and um, you know I'm, I'm happy with, with the progress we've made but we got a long way to go and you know part of that is uh, learning to win these kind of games against teams that make it real hard on you to score and getting to the net and doing those types of things we're gonna have to be better in those situations.